Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A Lake Zurich junior studied for months to take the upcoming AP exams, but thanks to a clerical error and the stringent new rules during the pandemic, he can't take the test next week or any time this year. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas introduces us to the family racking their brains for answers. This is my AP calculus book. Vince Petropoulos knows numbers, but he can't count all the time he's spent flipping through these books. It's a lot of hours. The Lake Zurich Jr. has studied AP calculus, chemistry, and U.S. history all year. If you score high enough on the AP tests, it can earn you college credits, so you don't have to take as many college courses or pay for them. Nowadays, I feel like college tuition is so expensive, and that can really have a big impact on my future. Vince says he signed up for the exams with his school's AP coordinator, and he even got an email March 23rd from the group that runs the tests, the College Board. It laid out some of the details for testing at home due to COVID-19, so he thought he was good to go. But a couple weeks ago, he logged onto the College Board's web portal and saw he was not registered for the test. We made several phone calls. His mom, Sue, reached out to the College Board and their school district. A Lake Zurich 95 district administrator emailed the College Board and CC'd Sue, saying Vince wasn't registered by the March 13th deadline because of a system error on the district's part. The district even offered to fly Vince somewhere to take the test in person, but the College Board won't budge. Of course, they want him to take the exams, too, and it's disappointing for them, I'm sure, as well, uh, because the College Board is unwilling to, to help. The College Board sent us an email saying they had to add a unique electronic ticket for each exam to keep students from cheating at home. They say the process is complex and cannot be restarted now that it's complete. Vince says he can't retake the test next year because next year he'll have to study for a whole new set of AP tests. I don't know how I'll be able to have, like, study for seven tests, all that are all taking place within two weeks. There are makeup exams next month, but the board closed the books on those too. For now, Vince will have to crunch the numbers on the tuition costs. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. That is a tough deal. The college board says students could have checked their status online since October 4th, but Vince says he had no reason to believe that he wasn't registered. At one point, the board recommended Vince take a different kind of exam, a CLEP test, but Experts advise not as many colleges except those compared to the AP.